booktube it's mickey and i'm here today to give you my tbr for the underhyped readathon i'm actually at my sister's house right now because my niece has this viral infection um that she's trying to uh knock out and so i'm just watching her while my sister goes and runs some errands but i wanted to make sure that i got this video in before the end of the day the underhyped readathon was underhyped reads readathon was started by charlotte at ramblings of an elf pyre and the uh the idea of the readathon starts on Saturday and goes until um, Friday, so the 27th until the 4th. And the purpose of the readathon is for us people to read books that they believe are underhyped. So my criteria for underhyped was basically anything that I hadn't heard a lot about on BookTube that was in my library currently that had less than a thousand um, ratings on Goodreads. So I had a really intense reading month um, in February because I was reading Native Sun and I read Purple Hibiscus, which is not necessarily a very happy read and The Awakening, which is also kind of a tragic read also. So I um, I was looking for some fluff a little bit, some things that won't necessarily uh, tax me emotionally. So I have three mystery novels, one book of poetry, and um, a, a straight fiction novel. So let me hurry up and get into this TBR before my niece notices what I'm doing and comes back with me. So um, the first book that I am reading for the Underhyped Readathon is uh, 40 Acres by Dwayne Alexander Smith. This is, I'm cheating a little bit with this one. Um, on Goodreads, it actually has a closer to like 1150 ratings on um, Goodreads. And I have seen someone on BookTube talk about it. I saw a review by Frenchie D. But I've really been wanting to read this for a while. And um, I still seem feel like it's very woefully underread based on the ratings and the reviews that I have seen of it. So it's a thriller. And basically the premise of the thriller is there's this African-American man who um, makes it in the corporate world and he joins this club of other men and they go to this resort and at this resort the black men are allowed to be the masters to white slaves and that's pretty much where the story goes from there so I'm super curious to see what this is going to be about and how it goes. Dee Dee um, really really liked it over at Brown Girl Dreaming um, so I'm looking forward to checking this out. The next book that I'm reading is Death of a Fool by Niall Marsh. Now on booktube I hear a lot of people talk about Agatha Christie, um, but Niall Marsh was one of Agatha Christie's um, contemporaries. She's known as one of the queen of crimes, but I don't hear a lot of people talking about her a lot. Um, her mystery novels, her detective is Roderick Allen, and her um, mystery novels typically are set in like the theater or amongst performers or artists or artistic types, which is one of the reasons why I really like her because she has this really funny way of depicting the artistic temperament. So Death of a Fool is about a group of sword dancers and one of them ends up decapitated. And so Roger Allen has to figure out who killed that person. So I'm looking forward to getting to this little uh, quick mystery read. Um, the next book that I'm going to read is A Dog's Ransom by Patricia Highsmith. This is, I'll read the back of the book so you can kind of have an idea of why I picked this up. I got it from a library book sale. But it says, I have your dog, Lisa. She is well and happy. But if you want her back, leave $1,000. No cops, please, or else. To Ed Reynolds, it seemed like a small price to pay for the return of his much-loved dog. But when an idealistic and naive young New York City cop becomes obsessed with the crime and the madman behind it, Reynolds is drawn into a horrifying labyrinth of vengeance and vindictiveness. So this just sounds really, really interesting, and I'm looking forward to checking it out. This is my third read. Then I said I had a book of poetry. One day, I, last year, I had said that I wanted to read more poetry, but I didn't really know where to start. So I picked up this random book, and I'm actually not quite sure I'm going to like it that much, but I feel like it's pretty brief enough so that it shouldn't take up too much of my time. But it's called 10 Poems to Change Your Life Again and Again. This is actually like part two of this series by Roger Housden. And basically, he just picks out 10 poems that he really likes, that he thinks are life-changing and then he analyzes those poems from you and kind of tells you what he got from them. So the poems are Sonnets to Orpheus, part two, uh, number 12 by Rainer Maria Rilke, Gate C22 by Ellen Bass, Each Moment a White Bull Steps Shining into the World by Jane Hirschfield, Leaving Mount, ba Leaving Mount Baldy by Leonard Cohen, When the Living Do by Marie Howe, A Brief for the Defense by Jack Gilbert, What to Remember When Waking by David White, With That Moon Language by Hafiz, Awaken as the Beloved by St. Simeon the Theologian, and Ithaca by C.P. Calafee. So I've heard of not hardly any of these poets before, so um, this will be, I don't know, a good little introduction to poetry, and I'm expecting it not to take me too long to read. So this read, and then my last read for the readathon is Into the Ghost Slow by Bridget M. Davis. It is about, it's set in 1987 in Detroit. It's about this girl named Angie, and her sister 
dies in Nigeria and she goes to Nigeria to sort of investigate her sister's death and that's pretty much what this is about and I saw this reviewed by I believe it's called Storyscape now but it used to be called Token in America by Dominique over there and she really liked it and had highly recommended it so I'm going to check this one out um, during the readathon so those are it I hope to get to all of those books but if not um, I'll let them go into the next month so are you participating in the under hype readathon what are you reading during this and do you have any other hype reads that you would recommend that you don't seem talk about on booktube that maybe i can just put on my list for later uh, hope you guys are having a great day and i'll talk to you soon bye